Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about the newest Insider Preview build from Windows 11, which is 22K120. I'm going to type here WinVert, so you see the new Insider Preview build from Windows 11. We've waited about two weeks for this one. It's not actually such a big update. You will see in this video the changes and the improvements, of course, and a lot of fixes that you will be able to find in a full version in the article down below in the description, which is the official article from the Microsoft blog. Before starting, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the TechBase channel because we're going to do the videos like this for each and every new Insider Preview build that Microsoft launches for Windows 11. First of all, a new addition, we have a new family widget. It is available in all Windows languages and regions. Basically, it allows you to see recent activity from members of your Microsoft family group. I don't think anyone will ever use this, but I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to go and click on the widgets icon, add widgets, and we have this new family safety widget which we can add and we will see it somewhere around here. Of course, we need to connect with a Microsoft account. We need to do some settings in order for it to use. I'm going to show you a screenshot from the official Microsoft blog, how it looks, what kind of notifications it can send you. From my point of view, it is not that useful. I'm not going to ever use it. We have some changes for the notification badging of the chat icon and the taskbar, but not everyone will see it right away. So basically, we are beginning to roll out a notification badging for the chat icon. Again, not really interesting. If you're not using Microsoft Teams, as I don't, it is not really a improvement that will help me in the long run. Now, a change that was highly requested by a lot of users. Microsoft made some adjustments to improve how the close button looks like in the taskbar preview windows. So if I'm going to go here, you're going to see how the close button now looks. Basically, the close button was kind of bugged. We had some weird borders around it because they've changed this new taskbar preview. But now the button looks kind of good. I think it's better now, but of course Microsoft will continue to work on it, I think, and will make it to look better and better, I hope so. Right now it's looking good, but maybe I expected something different, but for now it is good because it is not bugged anymore. Now when changing the background for desktops, even if settings is already opened, using choose background via task view will now force settings to move to whichever desktop you were actually on. In display settings, they move the identify button right here to be under the control for arranging your monitors, and I think this is uh, better because because it's easier to find as Microsoft says this is a good change. The context menu in the file explorer has been updated to be a little more compact for mouse users and as you can see now it is a little bit more compact. You have a lot more space to click on and stuff like that. If you're using a touch screen you would need more and more space and not a compact context menu. They now updated the new button in the file explorer's command bar to use a drop down menu style with all options in one list instead of a nested list. I think this is good. This is basically what we had before in Windows 10 and other Windows operating systems. And I think this is a very good change. And they also made some adjustments to improve the use of space and thumbnail sizes within Alt plus tab as you can see, or task view and snap assist. Basically, we don't have many significant changes in this new Insider Preview build, but we have a lot of fixes, a lot of changes that were requested, I think, by the users. And of course, as we're used to, we have a whole bunch of fixes regarding the taskbar, regarding the settings app, and other apps, File Explorer, of course, Start Menu, Search, Windowing, and so on and so forth. Don't forget that this article will be in the description down below. Go there and see if your problem or issue or bug was fixed in this new build and you can update to it if you are in the dev channel. Some important fixes for me are those regarding the start menu. Rapidly pressing the Windows key multiple times should no longer crash start. This is a good thing. Hovering over the search icon should no longer cause a crash when the recent searches have been updated. A lot of crashes in the last few builds, so I'm glad to hear that they fixed this and we should no longer have those crashes. There are a lot of fixes that are good, but I'm not going to go through all of them. You can go in the description down below and see for yourself in this Microsoft blog post. So this was the video for today from TechBased. I've showed you the new Insider Preview build 22K120. Let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this new build. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the TechBase channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.